Currently in our area, 76 degrees with rain and windy conditions. Today, tropical storm conditions likely. Windy with heavy thunderstorms. High 80. Rainfall may A reach flash one flood inch. warning has been issued for our area. Tonight, mostly clear. Low 72. Winds southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. A tornado watch is in effect. We are continuing to follow updates out of Birdie County, North Carolina. Look at this devastating scene. This is just heartbreaking. This happened overnight when an apparent tornado touched down in a mobile home park and you can see widespread devastation. At least 10 mobile homes were completely destroyed. And you can see just the widespread destruction, all of the debris just strewn about in this area, large trees down as well, as you can see right here. And actually, you look at, at this view of the damage and that tree, and you can see it's not just the tree blown over, but you can see how branches were broken off and some of the needles broken off as well. Uh, zooming down into this, you can see someone down there looking through some of the rubble. Unfortunately, one person died. There are still people missing, and no doubt homeowners in the area would like to get back into this region and, and check on their belongings as well. I don't know what they're looking for right here, but unfortunately with some people still missing, that is a possibility. There's several people who are, are there. You can see uh, another person there wearing the black shirt trying to walk very carefully. Others in the yellow shirts as well trying to walk very carefully through this debris, lifting it up, seeing what's underneath. And they may very well be looking to make A sure flash flood warning has been issued for our area. In this area. Just a terrifying night. This did come in during the overnight. This is in eastern North Carolina. This is in Birdie County, North Carolina. Uh, it's the town of Windsor, right around the Morning Road area. And we saw as the storm just raced inland after it made landfall uh, along this one in particular band, one of the outer bands, there were numerous reports of tornadoes. It was a very busy uh, overnight with tornado warnings. Unfortunately, this is the damage that one of them did. The Weather Service will be out to confirm that indeed it was a tornado and that, you know, how strong was it? They'll make that assessment based on the damage that was done here in this area. But for now, it's just a devastating scene there in Birdie County. In North Carolina. Let's go now here up into New Jersey where Reynolds Wolf is going to be live for us today. Reynolds, you came up early just to show us how uh, the weather actually is deteriorating pretty quickly there. Oh, you're right about that, Jan. I mean, you know this part of the world very well. Philadelphia back over to here in Atlantic City. And just like in the last 15 minutes, it's really flipped a switch. We've got the waves that are coming through. we got trouble out to our east with a special marine statement. To our west, we've got tornado trouble. And, of course, Jan, you were talking about the issues we have down in the Carolinas. What a terrifying, terrifying situation. Still, the trouble is not done just yet. You see the ocean just awash coming here right along Steel Pier, challenging these girders as it comes in one after another. Waves today expected to rise up to about 10 feet or higher, so you've got this aquatic battering ram that just seems like it's relentless, like it's never going to stop. That is the view you have at the pier. But if we cast our eyes a bit more towards the south, you actually see the future. The future, of course, being Isaias. Now, with Isaias, a couple things you need to know about the system. Again, bringing tornado trouble with it. This is the prospect of some flooding. You see the water that's coming up right here on the shoreline. Had a gentleman come up just a few moments ago and ask how high is this going to go? Could be another one to two feet. A flash flood warning has been issued for our area. Consider what's happened back along the intercoastal, Little Lake Harbor. A lot of these, these beautiful communities that decorate the shoreline, they're going to be compromised today. And any place that is low lying or susceptible to flooding, today will be that day. Now, if you want a silver lining, the silver lining, if this is a quick mover, it is. Now, if this were a slow mover and were to drop anchor, you can see those rainfall totals come up. That being said, still as a quick mover, there is the real threat of life, of life being at risk from flooding, from the damage.
damaging wind. Not just here, but you have to think back at, at where Dave Malkoff happens to be in Philadelphia. You've got those high buildings, the wind roaring down the streets. Yeah, the wind actually amplifies a bit, gets a bit stronger. So anything is not secured or tied down can be picked up, carried like a projectile, and it could be like a weapon. So you have to be careful. Also, I had a gentleman a short while ago say, hey, weren't you guys here a few weeks ago with Faye? Well, Faye is the past. Esai Eas is the present. But then we've got more trouble in the future. Full coverage continues coming up in a few moments. Again, I'm meteorologist coming to you from Reynoldsville County from Atlantic City, where conditions are beginning to deteriorate, and yet the worst is yet to come. Full team coverage behind the scenes, behind the cameras, back in the control room, in the newsroom, giving you the information that's so critical to you, your friends, your families, your communities. Stick around, folks. Listen now to Dave Malkoff. He is in Philadelphia. Dave. Hey, we are just about to get hit by a wall of water. You can see coming down the Delaware River right now. This is a huge wall of rain that has just built up there. As Reynolds just began to speak, you could see the bridge down there. There is no bridge there at all, and we are just getting hammered by not only the rain, but also the wind. But you can see, you can, you can kind of just see that wall of gray that is just heading this way and it's heading this way fast. Let me just show you real quick, Chris, if you can turn this way. A flash flood warning has been issued for our area. Let me show you over here as we go towards Center City, as we have just about one minute left, you can see how this is several pieces of the storm that are over there down the Delaware River, but then there is another piece of the storm that is right over Center City. So you can see that wall of gray back there, and that is just pouring there. Right now we are in a lot of rain, but not as much as we will have in just a couple seconds. So we're going to take a short break right here, and then we'll come back with live team coverage of Isaias on the Weather Channel. Stick with us. I didn't order a pizza. I know. 